New England Fishing is brought to you by those who live like a pro. With GMC Sierra Denali, we are professional grade. And brought to you by Garmin, we'll take you there. Pursuit Boats, explore life in a pursuit. Your New England Yamaha outboard dealer. Reliability starts here. And by Bosun's Marine, we share your passion. I know a special place, a certain corner of the country where the fishing is pretty good. A place with deep lakes and surf-pounded beaches, marsh-lined estuaries and lazy forest streams, roaring ocean rips and small secluded ponds. A place called New England. I'm Tom Richardson. Join me as we explore the region's diverse fishing destinations, chase its many species, and forge new fishing adventures on New England Fishing. Way out in western Massachusetts, the land begins to rise, forming green rolling foothills dotted with lakes and ponds and laced by clear running rivers, streams and creeks. Small towns and working farms here bring to mind more northern parts of New England. Amid this pastoral landscape, Paul Tuzinski learned to fish for bass, trout, pike, and other species that populate the Berkshires. Eventually, he started his own guide service, teaching other anglers about the wonders of this beautiful part of the country. Well, Welcome. A little chilly morning, but uh, hey, you know. The fish are biting. It doesn't matter how cold it is yeah, up they, here. It's warm down there. They don't care. Well, it's a, bit, it's a, little, uh, it's a little warmer at least the la since the last time I fished with you, which was ice fishing about four years ago. If the lakes aren't frozen, it means we're out here in the boat. <laughs> yes. There's no time when the fish aren't biting. Excellent, and so Lake Buell? Lake Buell. Yeah, so this is one of your favorite, favorite spots, early season? Lake Buell is a great lake all year long. Yeah. Early season, it's nice because a lot of guys come out here to trout fish but it leaves all the bass and the pike and the pickerel alone and you can still catch the trout. Mm -hmm. So you can have a four or five or six species day without really trying too hard out oh, here. Nice, and so, um, th so they stock it with trout? Yeah, the state stocks it with trout, mostly rainbows, but a lot of brown trout as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very popular lake. Most people can limit out in a few hours as far as trout are concerned. Yeah, great. But you got you got largemouth bass. Largemouth bass, no mm -hmm. smallmouth. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got northern pike. You've got chain pickerel, uh, rainbow trout, brown trout. There's a lot of really nice crappie in here. Uh, there's also catfish, and it's got some of the best yellow perch in the state. Right. So we're looking maybe for multi-species today. If we can get the Lake Buell Grand Slam, which is rainbow trout, pike, pickerel, and largemouth bass, we're golden. Let's do it, Let's man. Go. Let's go. I don't really have a favorite species. Uh, it really depends on what I like, you know, what the time of year is. Um, the, right now, largemouth bass in April, it could be carp. Sometimes in the winter, it's something as simple as smelt. I love to go smelt fishing in the middle of the night and sit in my shanty. Uh, pike, I mean, there's so many easily accessible species in the Berkshires, it's hard to have a favorite. You know, I mean, I can be on Long Island Sound fishing for stripers in an hour and a half, or I can be up on Lake Champlain fishing for pike and largemouth in two hours. But right here in the Berkshires, we have all that. Buell is a nearly 200 acre great pond consisting of two bowls separated by a shallow weed covered flat. With a maximum depth of 47 feet, the bowls are deep enough to harbor trout, which are stocked in the lake twice a year. Meanwhile, the shallower areas are ideal for smallmouth bass and pickerel, as well as the occasional northern pike.
All right, first bass of the day, right there, baby. There you go, Tom. All right, excellent. All right, first, first Lake Buell bass, right there. Beautiful. Not bad. Hey, good start, you know? Just, I know they're growing bigger here, they, though. They get bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, you hit that popper. Okay, well, I'm gonna release them here. Got that in? Yep. There you go, buddy. I guess in the cooler water, they probably have a, a, a better chance of survival, right? Oh, absolutely. Look, he doesn't even know he's... There you go. Bye. Hi, I'm Tim Leadham, owner of Bosun's Marine. At Bosun's Marine, we share your passion is more than just a tagline. For over 33 years, Bosun's Marine has been bringing you the finest power boats in the industry. We are committed to bringing you unparalleled service year-round, year after year. From offshore fishing and cruising yachts to small, family-oriented day boats, come visit us at one of our showrooms here in Mashpee on Cape Cod or at our new showroom in Peabody, just north of Boston. And be sure to check us out online at bosuns.com. Explore, experience, and enjoy your life in pursuit. Pursuit Boats. For more than 60 years, we have built premium boats with unmatched quality, durability, and performance. Whether you want action, adventure, or relaxation, we have the boat for you. We offer a wide range of models from 23 to 38 feet. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. No matter what your boating style is, Pursuit has what you need. Contact your local dealer today and explore, experience, and enjoy your life in Pursuit. For details, visit PursuitBoats.com. thing is as long as the lure. <laughs> Unbelievable. Doesn't happen that way too often. No, <laughs> no. Look at that. That thing's about the same size as that bass. I mean, the bass is the same size as that lure. And it just goes to show you too that fish are opportunists. You get a, a lure that has that action to it and it looks that wounded, anything will hit it. Tom? <laughs> They should be getting bigger. They should be going the other direction. Let's okay, so see if we can land this one. He doesn't have it very well. Yeah, yeah. Do they have pretty soft, soft mouths? Very, very, very fragile mouths. But they also have colossally sharp feet. Yeah. And they're also very slippery. They are very slippery. So, let's see if we can get this guy to cooperate here. Open his mouth a little bit. So they have that line, that distinct line that goes from their eye exactly. down to uh, so you the see base of their, their black mouth. line. Yeah. That's how you know it's a pickerel. I mean, aside from this is a chain pickerel, mm -hmm. not cooperating with me as far as holding them. You see that chain pattern down the side, whereas a pike would have spots. He's got that chain marking. And, and how big do they get? This is a small one. It can get up to about 28 inches. Um, nine pounds is a state record, and that's a very good, good size one. The biggest one I've ever personally caught was seven two. Um, but uh, I suppose theoretically they could get bigger. But four to five pounds is pretty common in the state. A, this a is pike. a little pike. Oh, Perfect. check it out. Awesome. Hey, three species, right? Yeah. Let me see him. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a nice fish. He didn't really fight very hard, though. Strangely. No, he didn't. He kind of came right in. Yeah. You can see the difference of about the... Yeah, and he doesn't have the eye yep. uh, band or mark there. Huh. So, it's also three species on that lure. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, let's... Uh, Let's keep throwing it. Who knows what else we'll catch exactly. on. Exactly. Let's see if we can get this guy's uh, great-grandmother.
So tell me about the bass tackle that we're using today. Yeah, so I mean, it starts out, this is a Synetic Crafty Black. Um, this is a 3500 series. These are really cool. It's a sealed drag, so you never have to worry about water getting in. Um, really nice and smooth drag system. One of my favorite reels. Mm -hmm. And the rod we're using today, this is a, a seven foot Carrot Sticks Wild Wild Green series. Uh, a lot of backbone, nice exposed blank for sensitivity and hook set, and that soft tip for really feeling that bite. Mm -hmm. And what do you got that, uh, what do you got the reels loaded with in terms of line? This is 12 pound test uh, Berkeley Trilene. Mm -hmm. um, this is a smooth casting series um, to get extra casts when we're fishing soft plastics and when we're fishing some of the uh, the uh, uh, crankbait type mm -hmm. baits that are normally hard to cast. Yeah. And so you don't, you don't like braid? I don't like to use braid only because we're fishing catch and release and it's an awful easy thing to do when you're setting a hook on braid to set that hook too hard and injure the fish. And injure the fish. I got you. So you like a little give. Exactly. Uh -huh. Despite Buell being readily accessible, we pretty much had the place to ourselves, save for one other boat and a large weed harvester. The local lake association hires the harvester to remove invasive milfoil and other plants, which can eventually choke the water. The removed plants are later used for fertilizer. While the weeds do provide important cover for bass, pike, pickerel, and the bait fish they feed on, the vegetation regenerates so quickly that there's always some part of the lake that offers shallow, fishable water. See, I didn't want to play around with those pickerel, those pickerel things. I, I wanted a bass. I wanted the quality fish right here. Absolutely. About the same size as the last one. Yep. While we caught a few bass and pickerel that day, something about the windy, cold, high-pressure system seemed to put the fish in a funk. The fishing would get better, much better, Paul promised, so we made plans to fish the lake under more favorable conditions. When trailering at highway speeds, it's possible to experience an issue known as trailer sway. Trailer sway can be caused by uneven loads, load shifting, wind gusts, turbulence from passing trucks, and quick steering maneuvers. Obviously, the best way to avoid the problem is to check the load capacity of your trailer and vehicle and to make sure the load is properly balanced before you hit the road. However, even if you take these precautions, you may still experience trailer sway. Fortunately, the Sierra Denali comes with trailer sway control. The feature works in conjunction with the vehicle's Stabila Track stability control system to offer additional assistance when towing a trailer. When you're moving a big offshore boat, it's all about thrust and trust. For thrust, nothing compares to the Yamaha purpose-built 5.3 liter V8 Power Pioneer. And for trust, Yamaha's new F350C model becomes the only outboard in its horsepower class to feature a five-year limited warranty. Never settle for less than complete confidence and control in the open water. That's Yamaha V8 Power. Get the best and forget the rest. This isn't your normal nine to five. Every day, there's a new puzzle to solve and no two days look the same. We get hands-on experience and continue a boating tradition passed down from generation to generation. This tradition has survived recessions and has been able to adapt and grow with new technology. This isn't your normal job. and That's why we love it. 
The boating industry is full of opportunities. Find out more about our careers by visiting MassBoatingCareers.com. In early June, Paul Tuzinski and I returned to Lake Buell. This time around, it felt more like a summer morning and the balmy temperatures had us energized. Apparently, the fish felt the same way. All right, well, that didn't take very long. No, that's a better way to start. <laughs> that's a better way to start. Absolutely. Well, you got to get up early. But that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Very good way to start. Oh. Not hooked the best. All right. There you go. That's good. All right. Absolutely. Beautiful, man. How much do you think that one weighs? Oh, that's a couple pounds. A couple pounds. All right. Good. Well, already you paid off. Day number two. Day number two, hour number one. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, let me see that guy. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, they're getting bigger, Paul. They're getting bigger. <laughs> they can't get smaller. <laughs> hey, now, come on. <laughs> we were just warming up that first day, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a dumper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right, man. Things are definitely looking up. Is he going to come up? Dog is down deep, man. There he is. That's a nice one. All right. Another good one, huh? <laughs> All right. Look at that. Perfect hook set. Beautiful. Well, you know, I, I try, Paul. You know, I've been practicing since our last outing. <laughs> Well, it's good. It's well, paid I, off. Remember, I lost a couple of good ones there at the end, uh, and uh, so I, I knew I had to hone my hone my hook setting skills. Beautiful. You go ahead and do the honors on that guy. There you go. There he goes. Great. Awesome. Awesome. What are some of the top lures like for the early season, like that you like to use for large trout bass? Well, I tell you, you know, early season you can go with a jig and pig. Um, what we're going to be uh, hopefully doing real well with, um, I like to use a lot of soft plastics. I like to use a lot of these crankbait style, this bent minnow. Bent minnow. Spinner baits are fantastic, mm -hmm. um, and poppers. Poppers, early morning, late evening, you can't beat a popper. Excellent. And in terms of the soft plastics, like you know, like senko worms, that kind of. Thing. Thing. My favorite's a yum dinger. Yum, dinger. Um, yum dingers are, first of all, half the cost of a Sanko. Um, they have just as much salt. The sink rate is fantastic. Um, they also come in a lot more colors. Mm -hmm. um, one of the lures that I like to use is actually a custom color that they make for me, which really mimics our native forage around here. And how do you rig, how would you rig your, your soft plastic worms typically? Most of what I'm doing is a Texas rig, um, but in like your traditional Texas rig where you're going to put the weight in front of it, I like to use nail weights where you're actually sliding the weight inside the worm itself and it really presents a nice gradual fall as opposed to that diving action. Mm -hmm. And how about uh, artificial scent? Definitely artificial scent. I put liquid mayhem on absolutely everything. It holds on the bait um, and it's going to not going to increase the number of fish that hit your bait but it will increase the number of fish that you catch because they don't let go of your bait. Take a fish that was on the line. No, I, I actually I've heard of that happening. I've never fished. Oh, there we go. Got him? Yeah, not a very big one. No. Again, the, the strikes are amazingly uh, amazingly subtle, you know? It's crazy. You'd think they'd be slashing at it, you know, in this. Oh, it's oh, a pike. It, 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 yeah, pike or pike. Oh, it's a nice one though. Pickle. Pickle? Yeah, that's a good pickle. That's a good one, that's huh? That's a very nice pickle. Now look at that. That's a beauty. That's the biggest pickle I've ever caught, I think. Right there. Nice. Fatty. Look at the teeth on him, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get a shot of that. That's... Oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a nice one, man. 
And he's actually being very cooperative at the moment. <laughs> oh, oh boy, you spoke too soon, Paul. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak my hand up so I can grab him. There we go. There's a sweet spot on a pickerel people don't realize. Hi, I'm Tim Leadham, owner of Bosun's Marine. At Bosun's Marine, we share your passion is more than just a tagline. For over 33 years, Bosun's Marine has been bringing you the finest power boats in the industry. We are committed to bringing you unparalleled service year round, year after year. From offshore fishing and cruising yachts to small family oriented day boats, come visit us at one of our showrooms here in Mashpee on Cape Cod or at our new showroom in Peabody, just north of Boston. And be sure to check us out online at bosuns.com. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. After catching our share of bass and pickerel, Paul suggested we switch gears and try for one of the trout that were recently stocked in the lake. Buell is stocked twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall, with hatchery raised rainbow and brown trout. Both species can be taken by slow trolling spoons, flies and live baits, as well as by fishing live shiners on drop shot rigs. This is one of my favorite baits. It's a Thomas Buoyant. Uh, this is a pearl with a chartreuse back. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a quarter ounce size. And uh, in order to get it down to where we want it, instead of running a heavy downrigger so that we can use these lighter rods, we're just gonna run a uh, Bass Pro Shops trolling uh, sinker. This is how, how big is that? This is a three ounce. Okay. We're also going to have a one ounce, and just because we want to vary our depths and hit different depths as we come how, through. How deep will that get? This will take us down easily, fifteen to twenty-five feet. Uh huh. And how how fast are you trolling? We're going to be trolling about two knots. Two knots. Okay, very good. Sure. So the leader can vary. Um, I like to tie about a five foot long leader. This is six pound test uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon, mm -hmm. and uh, very important when you're trolling, not just to have the swivel on your your uh, bead chain, but another small swivel on the lure itself to keep that from twisting up. Very good, okay. There we go, we you finally got him. You think it's a trout? Yeah, it is yeah, a trout. Yeah, there it is. Nice rainbow. Is that, well, there you go, you called it. Oh, is that a rainbow or is that a brown? That's a brown. It is. No kidding. A Not a big trout, brown, but you got them. Hey, all right. Well, the trout's a trout, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, we, all got, right. we got one to eat. <laughs> that's great. So that's a so that's a stocked fish, that's, obviously. That's a stocky yep. brown. Yeah. Yep. Let's see if we can get him out of here. He's actually got that hook pretty good. I netted him. So a lot of times these guys on the troll will Just miss that them. guy out of there. There we go. All right. All right, man. There you go. Hold on, let me get my hands wet. Remove too much slime. There we go. Yep. Hey, buddy. Slow down. Okay. 
looking at. So species number five on yeah, I, I think so, right? Yeah. All right, not nothing huge, but. My daughters absolutely love to fish. My, my oldest daughter broke the 20 pound class when she was only three years old. Uh, my youngest daughter just got a, a bronze pin, a brown trout a couple weeks ago. You know, when I grew up, you didn't have to worry where your kids went. You knew they were off in the woods playing or they were down at the lake fishing. My daughters, it's a different world right now. You have to always know where they are. You have to always know who they're with. So for me to be able to take them into the outdoors, whether it's hunting or fishing or just hiking, you know, it, it's so important for me. It's my mission to allow them to have even a small part of my childhood. My name is Paul Tuzinski. I run Charter the Berkshires, a 12 month uh, fishing guide service out here in the Berkshires. Well, that's a wrap on another action-packed episode of New England Fishing. To learn more about fishing in this great part of the world, be sure to check out NewEnglandFishingTV.com. The site is filled with great articles, videos, gear and boat reviews, fishing news, and much more. And don't forget to order your copy of New England Fishing Magazine, a big, bold, glossy publication packed with informative how-to articles that will help you catch more and bigger fish all season long. Until next time, I'm Tom Richardson for New England Fishing. Thanks for watching.